right guys, Coach Rob here. Just wanted to go into the next exercise as you see indicated on your spreadsheets called pull-ups. And though it may be a familiar term for you, we want to make sure that you understand how to do pull-ups correctly. Again, only focusing on trying to make you the fastest racer possible. Two things to think about when we do our pull-ups. One, we want to remove as much momentum as we can in between each repetition because our goal is to isolate the tissues to see how strong, what kind of endurance levels they have. And if you're adding a lot of jerking and mo uh, momentum, what you're doing is you're not isolating the tissue. By doing it nice and slow with good form, you're engaging as much tissue as possible. The second thing I want you to think about is your placement of your width of your hands. I don't want you to be way outside your shoulders. I don't want you to be too close in. Again, if we were going to try to do something that was close-handed, palms towards you to blast your biceps, that would be great. We're not doing that. We're testing your shoulders, your lats, and your back, rhomboids, muscles in between your shoulder blades. So what I want you to think about is imagine that you're just setting yourself up for the motorcycle. Take that position onto the pull-up. I want you to start with your arms completely extended and with a smooth pull all the way up to where your chin surpasses the height of the bar, come all the way down to an extended position. For some of you, you may not be able to get more than one. It's something to think about. If you can move a 200 pound motorcycle around with the velocity of braking and acceleration, and you can't do a pull-up, it just shows you how much stronger you'll be on the motorcycle when you can do a pull-up, okay? So do them correctly, do them slow. Remember why you're doing it, it's to become the best and fast, strongest racer you can be. So be smart, and we'll see you on the next exercise.